Hey everyone, it's Cindy and welcome to my channel or if it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate having you here. If you haven't already, do please consider subscribing to the Feel Good family so that you can be part of these videos every single time they go up. Another quick tip is if you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you'll make sure that you'll get notified of every single video and you won't miss a thing. So today's video is going to be a chatty vlog and it's all about my favourite things from the month of June. And everyone's saying it, but can you believe it's already July? You know, I'm even a few days late putting this video up. Oh my goodness, where has that time gone? So if you're feeling the same, do let me know in the comments because I'm sure it can't be just me. Okay, so if you want to find out what my favourite things are from the month of June, then please do keep watching. Okay, so let's get into my list of things that I have loved in the month of June. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is my necklace. And uh, I can see it on the screen and it looks beautiful. It's a bit different, you'll notice from my no normal choices of necklace. And I tend to wear this with something that's got a bit more pattern in it, where my big jewellery potentially looks a bit kind of out of place. And this necklace came from a, a party that my friend threw. And um, it's uh, with a company called Stella and Dot and another friend of mine is the one who does these parties and Stella and Dot jewellery is lovely, really high quality and um, it's the sort of thing that you can have a bunch of friends around to your house, have a load of fun, try on loads of jewellery and um, just see what you like and if you like something you can just pick it up. The packaging is gorgeous, the necklace came in this lovely little box that's sort of like a little drawer, fits together like that and then it opens up and you've got lovely packaging so packaging makes me happy too I like things like that it's just little things that make me happy and having something shiny and pretty that makes me happy too so this is one of my favorite things from the month and there's there's quite a few other things from Stella and Dot that I'd like to get my hands on um, if you want to find out about um, Stella and Dot I'm gonna put the details for my friend down below and you can ask her about it because she's the expert so um, I'll make sure you can get hold of her so that's number one and I'm going to go quite quickly because there's quite a few things on my list and I do want to talk about all of them so you know what these vlogs are like they can tend to go on and on and on so I'm going to make sure that I cover things quickly but if you want to know any more about Stella and Doc or if you want to see more about my necklace or anything like that then just let me know and uh, and I will do my best to get that information to you. So the second thing, they're, they're so random these vlogs, so, you know, um, I like to watch the makeup ones and they do their favourite beauty products from uh, the month and uh, that kind of makes sense doesn't it, but mine is just like random things that I've liked but hopefully you find it engaging and useful because I will include obviously personal development stuff that I've loved as well which will all help everyone. <laughs> so the second thing I like rather randomly is this um, lip balm. It's by Burt's Bees. I love Burt's Bees lip balms. They're made. They're very natural. They've got shea butter and all sorts of stuff. No um, petroleum jelly, which I don't like. I find it drying. I don't like eating it. Um, generally, not for me. So Burt's Bees, very good. Um, this one is in Carla Lily, and it's tinted lip balm. So um, I've got that on right now. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, I do like to have a bright lipstick on. But on the days when I'm not in the mood for a lipstick then having a tinted lip balm helps me to still have some colour on my lips because I feel weird without any colour on my lips now. I'm so used to having something on. So um, this lip balm, amazingly, was actually a pound because I picked it up in Poundland. And uh, so worth popping in if they, in case they've still got any left where you are um, because this Carla Lily um, flavour is really nice. It's kind of, um, it's not too flowery, it's kind of sweet. Um, but not too strong. It's just a nice when you open it up. It just feels nice when you when you put it on. Um, Moisturises my lips beautifully. Um, I don't need to put the tinted one on at night, but when I, I've got a different one that I use at night, uh, and I put that on before I go to sleep. And in the morning, my lips are lovely moisturised. They're still a little bit left there on my lips. It lasts really well. And uh, well, I can't say any more good things about it. So Burt's Bees lip balm in Poundland for a pound. So check to bits with that. And I love a bargain, as you might have noticed from some of my other vlogs. Fantastic. So the next thing I want to talk about isn't something I can show you, but I will put links down below in the description box. I talk a lot on my um, <clears throat> on my channel, on my channel, on my Facebook page, and on my personal Facebook about a networking thing that I go to called Rekindle, and it's based in Sirencester. It's run by a wonderful lady called Virginia. Um, Stoughton, not Stoughton, I'm not sure how you say the surname, and she has got a wealth of experience of um, in business 
and she's got this very strong ethic in her networking group of having um, it be a family and for everyone to be looking out for each other and helping each other and it's not one of those places where you just go to take um, and, and that kind of networking really doesn't appeal to me at all. So the kind of networking where you can collaborate with each other, where you can help each other and feel like you're part of a family and um, it's really um, a lovely, lovely group. So I've been going to Rekindle for just over a year um, and when I started going it was, it was just that. It was uh, a, a bit of networking, a talk from either someone that uh, Virginia got in or a member and then a bit more networking with lunch. And so, um, and that was fine and I liked it. But what Virginia's been doing is incorporating now a section at the end with uh, training. So she's been working closely with a company called Clearworth, um, Chloe and Clive, and they've been delivering some really good mindset training that's very specifically aimed at business owners. And they've been doing that at the end of the uh, networking session. So it's massively added value to get this this additional training as part of the networking and I love it. I'm a lifelong learner. I'm always learning new stuff. So it's absolutely brilliant for me. Some people don't like it, but you know, that's up to them. Learning for me is so vital to um, staying young and mentally agile and just generally being happy. So I love the learning part and I'm so grateful that uh, Virginia, Clive and Chloe have invited me to deliver the training at next month's, or actually this month's, Rekindle, which is on the 28th of June. So I will put details down below in the link. If you're interested in coming to that in Sirencester, then have a look at the link and come and join me. I'll be talking about Embraining, which is a, a cutting edge coaching model. And um, I'll be talking about how three brains are better than one. So if that's something you're interested in, I'd love to see you there, meet you in person. And um, it's gonna be a really, really good session. So that's Rekindle. I, you know, if you can't make it in July, try and get along to one. You can come um, once uh, for a trial session before you join as a member. So you can just give it a try and see what you think. So hopefully I'll see you there. Okay, what's next? Yeah, so as always, I've got my list right down here. Otherwise we'll be here for hours and hours. Oh yes, oh, one of my favorite things about June has been doing um, a couple of interviews with, with um, my clients on Facebook Live, it's been incredible. So the first client I interviewed was Mandy Cran, uh, and then last Friday I interviewed Heather Angel. Both of those videos are here on YouTube as well. I'm uploading them here so that you guys can access them really easily. But if you wanna join in live, you really need to be on my page, The Feel Good Coach, at 9.30 a.m. every Friday, and um, you, can, you can join in and uh, join in the conversation and be there taking part live. Uh, if you can't do that, make sure you've liked my page so that you can um, get notified when I go live and also find the replay really easily because it will notify where the replay is. So um, again, all details will be in the um, description box below. But my favourite thing about it has been um, actually finding out, you know, how much my clients have got out of working with me because it makes me so happy when people can achieve what they want. Oh, I'm getting emotional. It makes me so happy because that's what I'm all about. You know, we, we want to be, all we ever want in life is to be happy and sometimes we're holding ourselves back. And yes, you know, achieving stuff and, and making money and all that kind of stuff isn't what makes you happy but it's the, it's the journey of getting there and it's the things you have to let go of to be able to get those things that makes you happy. And I just love, love finding out how, um, how I've helped my clients in such a big way and it's been amazing. I've really enjoyed it. <sighs> get a grip, Cindy. So, so yeah, do come over and join us uh, this Friday uh, on the 7th of July. Um, I might be talking about how to ditch um, bad habits permanently, something like that. Um, but I've got a poll running on my page, so if you do want to um, vote for any other topics that I've got on there, then do feel free to head over there and vote, and you can influence what I'll be talking about on Friday. The voting actually closes at 12 midday, tomorrow, Thursday, okay. <laughs> ah, all the emotion is getting on top of me. Right, okay, <sighs> breathe. 
So interviewing my clients has been amazing. And then uh, alongside that, I've been, uh, when I've not been interviewing clients, every single Friday I've been delivering a training session, a masterclass on something to do with um, feeling good. And a lot of that for me is around self-sabotage, beliefs and all that kind of stuff. Because if we get rid of that stuff, then we, we're open to feeling good more of the time. And um, when we don't feel good, it's because of our thinking patterns that are causing us to feel that way. So every single week I've been loving sharing a different topic with you guys live on my channel, loads of interaction. The feedback I've been getting is amazing and I have absolutely loved it. A massive thank you to my business coach, Carrie Lindine, for getting me started with this and for your support. I love, um, absolutely love your support. Thank you so much. And I wouldn't be doing this if you hadn't have pushed me into it So and given me a strategy that works. So thanks, Carrie. Um, I, I just, you know, going live on my page and being able to connect with people in real time is so different to um, recording a video and uploading it. And I love doing this too. But getting that interaction in real time is so precious. So um, as I said before, you know, if you want to come and join in, you know where we are. Feel Good Coach page on Facebook, 9.30 every Friday. And you can join me and anyone else who's there and possibly talking about ditching bad habits this week. But who knows? It's up to you guys. So um, yeah, absolutely loving doing my Facebook lives. So let's move on to some more personal development. A book I discovered in June, I think it was within June, um, I, I, I think I've talked about it on my channel, but I, I can believe that I did not discover this book sooner. It's got a title that is right up my street. The content is right up my street and it was published in February 2014 and yet I had never heard of it. And then, um, you know how it is when you're on YouTube, I like to watch um, Melody Fletcher. She talks about law of attraction and how we, how our beliefs uh, get in the way of us uh, receiving what, what it is we want and, um, and how to clear all of that stuff. And she's brilliant. I love Melody. I met her um, a while ago in, here in Cheltenham when she was doing the talk. And um, so I was watching her videos and then YouTube suggested, you know, at the side, um, some of the law of attraction type videos. So I watched some by um, another lady who I think I've mentioned on my channel, but whose name I've forgotten. So I watched those and they were good. And then it suggested this guy called Victor... Below, I think his name is. It's kind of random, and he, you know, and he, he kind of doesn't. He's not my, the normal kind of person I would watch. I wouldn't normally like his thumbnails aren't that attractive to me. But I just for some reason started watching some of his videos, and then of course YouTube serves me up some more of his content. And what Victor Valer, however you say it, does is he does it so well on his channel. Is he, you know, reads so many Law of Attraction books, and then he shares. He finds those little nuggets. And he shares them in his videos, just one little nugget per video. Um, and he talks about his experience of using it and his results from using it. And, uh, and I find that intriguing. So one day a video popped up from Victor, which said um, 15 second belief change technique. So I thought, oh, that's interesting. I'm all about belief change and that's the quickest I've ever heard of. So I watched his video and he talked about a technique, which is very much um, a visualization. And then he mentioned where the book was, where the book that it came from. So immediately, of course, I went away and got the book on Kindle. So I'll show you the cover, just so that you know, if you do look for it, that you get the right one. Hello, Kindle, wake up. Wake up. Oh, it's not gonna wake up. Oh, it is. Battery level's low. Never mind. I'll turn you off again. So it's called Mastering Manifestation by Adam James. And um, it's got blueberries on the front, so make sure you get the right one. Again, I'll put a link down in the description. Um, so if you want to just click on that link, um, it is an affiliate link, which means I'll get a small um, reward for recommending it. But by all means, just search on Amazon and grab it that way too. Um, so Mastering Manifestation, really good book, very clear um, uh, descriptions of Law of Attraction stuff talks about visualization, talks about um, beliefs and how we need to clear them and gives this technique that takes 15 seconds, which I have been doing with my clients, doing for myself, clearing, burning through hundreds of beliefs, finding it really, really, really useful. So that book, I recommend to you, go and get it. It's only £3.86 or something on Kindle. Get the book, read it, or if you haven't got time to read it, go straight to the appendices and find that technique because he's very helpfully put it in the appendix and then do it. Because I can't tell you, it's been so, so helpful. I have got rid of um, 
pages and pages and pages of beliefs. And uh, in one of my Facebook lives, what I talked about is to get, get a sheet of paper and write the top, I can't dot, dot, dot. And then write down all the things you can't do and then burn through them with this technique and then write down um, all sorts of other beliefs, anything that comes into your head, just brain dump, any things that might be stopping you, even if you're, you're not consciously aware of these beliefs. And in the book, Adam James, he suggests you Google limiting beliefs about money, about relationships, about losing weight, about whatever it is. And then you just work through all of those as well, whether you think you've got them or not, because naturally they might be unconscious. You wouldn't be consciously aware of a lot of those beliefs. So do check that out. I highly recommend it. I have loved working with this book this month. Um, I haven't read another book since because I keep dipping back into it and, um, and getting more nuggets of information from it and useful stuff. So absolutely love that book. Do look it up. And lastly, you know I love my rock choir. If you've seen my previous blogs, you know that I love to go to rock choir. We sing kind of contemporary music. Um, it's a very accessible choir. Um, you don't need to be able to read music. You don't even need to be able to sing particularly well. As long as you can hold a, sort of hold a tune, then you can um, do, you know, have a great time at rock choir. If you're completely tone deaf, why not be your thing? But, you know, it, it's very, very, very inclusive. And we get, as a um, byproduct of our membership, we get to do performances, which is amazing because you wouldn't normally get an opportunity to perform um, in your in your uh, hobby. That's the word I was looking for. And so um, we had two performances in June. Well, one was just, uh, just into July. It was on the 1st of July. Um, and... Um, the first one that I went to was at the Cheltenham Race for Life and we, we sang at the start and then we sang on the course as people were going past when they'd first started and again we just shifted so that we were singing for them as they came to the finish line as well and, uh, and it was an incredible, incredible experience. It wasn't our best performance in terms of accuracy because we were busy clapping and cheering for people going past but everyone was shouting thank you as they were running past and it was really really helping and making a difference to those people so I loved it absolutely loved it and then we did a performance at the Cheltenham uh, summer midsummer fiesta on the weekend just gone and again loved it we were in the bandstand because we had the roof over us we could actually hear ourselves a lot better than we normally can because of the shape of the roof and, and, you know, I don't mind saying, we sounded amazing. Um, and I loved it. Let me show you my, my t-shirt, because we have to wear a uniform. And this is my rock choir t-shirt and lovely yellow star. It's a shame it's black, because I never wear black, but I had to put extra bronzer on so I don't look like I'm dying. But, um, I mean, last year, last summer, we actually got the opportunity to sing at Colston Hall Rock Choir. We did a performance at Colston Hall in Bristol, which is a great big venue. And we had about a thousand people in the audience who paid for tickets. It was amazing. So if you've ever thought about joining a choir, you know, look into what's around you. You don't have to be a brilliant singer to be able to be part of a choir because that's the whole point. You're with the choir. So you've got all that support around you. It's not just about you. And at Rock Choir, if you choose to, there are songs that you can do solos with as well if you have got that extra bit of oomph in your voice or you want to just give it a go. So that is it. That's a roundup of all of my favourite things from June. What have been your favourite things in June? What have you enjoyed? What have you tried and really, really liked? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what your favourites are and um, I will look forward to reading them later. Thank you for watching. I hope you've really enjoyed this little romp through my favourite things from June. Look out for July's favourites at the end of the month. And in the meantime, hopefully there will be lots of good stuff for you to watch here on my channel. As I said before, if you haven't already, do please consider subscribing to the Feel Good family to make sure that you receive all of my videos. And all that's left for me to say is have a fabulous day and I'll speak to you in the next video.